Hello YouTube, this is a short video I'm putting together on the KS7 uh, and the main reason I'm doing it is because I want to give High Tech Customs a shout out for making this muzzle brake right here on the front end which I'll go over in just a few minutes but uh, they are no longer allowed because of the snowflake society we live in to advertise on Google AdWords. So I'm hoping this will give them some business. But anyway, I'm going to walk you through a couple of little comfort modifications I've made to this uh, weapon. They, those are the only modifications I've made. Uh, the first one uh, is this uh, recoil pad on the on the back and it's uh, just removable. It's really easy to take off the OEM pad and replace it with this one. It uh, seems really spongy. I've not shot this uh, shotgun with any of these modifications just yet, so I can't be 100%. But again, just want to do a quick video. And I have shot it without these, and it was uh, incredibly, well, let's just say it was not as fun to shoot as I thought it would be without them. Uh, it it uh, has the kick of a mule. So this is the first modification was this recoil pad. I also, uh, and, and I got this off of Amazon. And if you do a search, you can find all these things on, on Amazon with the exception of the muzzle brake here in the front. So this uh, cheek pad was also something I added to the KS7. It uh, fits really well. It, it's really spongy and I'm hoping that that'll make a difference. It came in a package with uh, this grip tape as well that um, seems to fit really well and, and uh, also is much more comfortable than just the raw plastic that was on there. I also bought this little plug here. This is not really a comfort modification, but uh, there's a hole for some reason uh, in the grip and um, I just plugged that hole in. I guess this is by CDS. So another Amazon purchase right there. And then walking through this, uh, the modification I'm most hopeful about is this muzzle brake. And this is, um, well, you can Google it and find out all the specs on it, but it looks pretty pretty cool um, and I didn't get it for the looks but it's supposed to reduce recoil by 70% and it's their howitzer um, muzzle brake so we'll see once I take it out again how well this all works but I'm hoping with these few little comfort mod modifications to the KS7 that it'll make a big difference all the uh, videos I've watched recently say that it makes a considerable difference and so we got 70 percent here and they say 30 percent on on the recoil pad so this this uh cheek pad wouldn't help or wouldn't hurt either but anyway there you go there you have it shout out to high tech customs and uh if you go to their website you can find a, a lot of different modifications that they do to this rifle and also the caltech ksg